When Leith Mullings became a president of the AAA, she um, created a task force on race and racism and anthropology. Um, and she charged us with figuring out how to implement, uh, imp implement the recommendations of a commission. So our task was to do something concrete. Several of the recommendations that we've instituted over the past year um, were revolve around developing a website, and effectively collect data, and also document the experiences of anthropologists um, of color racial, from racialized groups, um, as well as developing a survey, a, a discipline-wide survey that's, that gets, to, gets at the, um, so the experiences and the numbers of anthropologists um, that are from the various subfields, practitioners as well as students organized this, this working group or this session looking at um, how do we create a more, numbers matter, how do we create a more racially diverse anthropology and I think that's one of the main ways that we've engaged this issue around racial diversity and inclusion within discipline. Our goal was to really talk very critically but very concretely about what we can do, what can we can do now both short term and long term to change the face and practice of anthropology in terms of creating more uh, faculty of color, more students of color, and, and a pipeline from students to um, fully employed, gainfully, gainfully employed faculty of color in anthropology. What, what we were trying to do was bring together people um, from committed sections, people who had uh, experience with diversifying their departments, who knew good programs, bring them together. We asked them in advance uh, to send us a page, no more than a page, of good stuff uh, and ideas. And from that, we developed a, uh, an agenda of topics. The ideas that we talked about today were how to get anthropology to pick some low-hanging fruit, right? Some of the low-hanging fruit is what other organizations that already foster and mentor students of color and how we can collaborate with them to branch out the mentorship and creating that pipeline, but also talking about changing anthropology, modeling what was done 20 years ago under the leadership of Sandra Morgan in terms of gender, and do the same for anthropology in terms of race and racism. So really kind of structurally change the field at the intellectual level. There was a thread among the success stories uh, and the thread was they rethought the intellectual foci either of the department or of the particular subfield in ways that moved it beyond anthropology. What they did in, in archaeology, they combined it with a focus on historical archaeology so that it was more robust in thinking about issues of race archaeologically, um, biologically, uh, biological sort of, um, and archaeology both thought in some cases of, of part partnering with um, public health uh, and with biology. I think that what we want to do is draw in as much of the discipline as possible into this wider dialogue around creating a more diverse and inclusive discipline. And anthropology is an extremely diverse the discipline in terms of its the different areas that it addresses, but I also think it's, it's also important to bring up the diversity of people that are in the discipline as well and those interests. So while we can address race and diversity historically from a number of different perspectives, that would be cultural, biological, um, physical, we can also sort of incorporate the perspectives of diverse members or diverse members of the, of the discipline to address these issues.